All right, you guys, today is the day. Um, I've been growing out the top of my hair for 10 months now, maybe 11. This is where we're at. <laughs> it's all messy, but pretty long. I dreaded my hair actually uh, last week. I got dreads, so if you guys wanna check out the Instagram, uh, check out my dreads, it looked pretty crazy. And I can't believe I got it all out within like two hours in the shower. Put so much conditioner in there and finally got them out. I lost a lot of hair, but it's all good. But uh, I'm thinking it's time now, guys. Been growing it out. I appreciate all you guys growing out your hair with me. It's been a cool journey. Uh, maybe we'll do it again sometime soon, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going back to a little bit shorter of a hairstyle, a little bit shorter on the sides, so I can get that volume going and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hit up the barber shop right now. So uh, see you guys there. There's the man, bro, what's up? <laughs> so as you can see, my hair on top was around nine inches at this point. Definitely the longest I've ever had it. it. Took me about 10 months to grow it out, actually. And the sides, I started letting them grow out about three months ago. Right here, I was getting pretty nervous about cutting my hair just because it's been a long time coming and to see it all go was a tough pill to swallow. I asked him, my barber, to fade the sides from a one to a three all the way around. Tim then started blending in the sides to the top of my hair, and because I told Tim I wanted to, you know, get that crazy texture, he used his texturizing scissors to cut the top. By the way, if you guys live in the St. George, Utah area, O'Gallagher's gives great cuts. I'll be sure to put their info in the description below for you guys. Now at this point, Tim wanted me just to, you know, style my hair so we could get a vibe of what my hair was looking like and, you know, adjust accordingly. So we then used the new pre-spray by Shavu that's coming out very soon, I'm so stoked about it. And this helped create extra volume, awesome texture, and full bodied waves. I then blow dried my hair into position and of course, I applied ocean clay just to give my hair that really great hold and awesome texture that I'm looking for. Another great thing about ocean clay that separates itself from any other product out there is that it works like a hair mask, providing your hair with organic ingredients and amino acid technology to keep your hair as strong and as healthy as possible. Now don't be afraid to tell your barber exactly what you are looking for, as you see me doing here. Great barbers are there to get you exactly what you're looking for, and they're there to help you achieve your best look yet. So Tim made some adjustments and gave me exactly what I wanted, and I love the way it turned out. The great thing about Tim is that throughout the haircut, he's open to all your ideas, and he's constantly asking you exactly what you want and if there's any adjustments that you may need. And to finish off the cut and to make it just look as best as it possibly can, Tim cleaned up all my edges, shaved up my neck, and I was good to go. What is up, you guys? Man, it feels so bum to have some freaking short hair again. By the way, right now, the reason why I'm not really recording on my wall and stuff is because um, we're kind of switching this room up in here. This is where I usually record all my videos. But um, we're gonna be putting my music studio in here as well. Uh, as you can see, that's like our inspirational wall. As far as like, you know, stuff that I like, movies that I like and all that. Um, but yeah, this is gonna kind of be like the studio for, yeah, YouTube, making music and just like, anything creative that I do. So uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting things together right now, so next video should be all 
put together and back to normal. By the way, I want to continue um, doing shout outs to you guys since you guys support me so much. I want to continue, you know, shouting you guys out and giving you guys your props that you deserve. I also want to give away some free Shavu product. I'm going to start doing that every month again. So uh, in the comments below, let me know how you liked today's video, what you liked about it. And also be sure to put your Instagram username so that way I can shout you out. I'll also, I'll also, I'll also. I will also be picking one person to give some free product to in the next couple weeks. So be sure to write that comment below. And of course, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Now, before I go, I just want to read you guys this quote. Um, that I posted on my Instagram like a couple weeks ago. And I love it so much, I just wanna share it with you guys. And it goes, you were not born a winner and you were not born a loser. You are what you make yourself out to be. You know, it's crazy, these days, people are so much more likely to quit at something um, than they used to be, even if it's something that they truly enjoy and that they're truly passionate about. It's sad because there's so many people that's just emotionally fragile and, um, you know, whether it's failure or criticism or just any kind of struggle that they face, you know, they, they tend to just throw in the towel so easily. And they often think that failure is the opposite of success when in actuality, it's, it's part of the journey, man. It's all part of the process. And you know, honestly, this is something that we all struggle with, even myself. You know, it's hard when, uh, you know, struggles come in your life when you're trying to hit your dreams and goals. It's hard to keep going. It is, it's, it's, it's hard for everybody. And I actually have it tatted right here on my chest, Proverbs 24, 16, and it states, though a righteous man falls seven times, he will rise again. And you know, being a YouTuber such as myself and owning my own hair company, owning my own clothing company, starting music now, I mean, there, there's so much criticism, so much hate, and so much things that are involved with that. And you know, it, it is hard. It's hard for anybody who's in that place. And that's why I, I tatted this on my chest. So, you know, every time I look at myself in, my, in the mirror, it, it reminds me just to keep my head in the game and to rise again. And I'm just so stoked that you guys are by my side. I mean, that's who I do this for. I do this for the people who care and for the people who understand, such as you guys. So I appreciate you guys like crazy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you dug it, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And please be sure to hit the notifications button to be alerted when I drop my next video. And I will see you guys very soon. My name is Dredd Exler. Shaka, bruh. Oh, my God.